Hello everyone, thank you for checking out this video. You are with Coach Tian Yu from Terry Chu Academy. Right now, we are going to solve this question together. So as you can see, the question wants us to add a bunch of pretty big numbers together. Like for example, 8 to the power of 25. If you can imagine, right, that number is really, really big. So obviously, if we're going to do this question together, we're not physically going to add all the numbers. That doesn't really make sense. So, whenever you encounter big numbers like this, there's probably some pattern going on here, in which we'll see. So for this question, we're actually only interested in the ones digit. So, for every single number from 1 to 9, there's actually a pattern we can follow for the ones digit. For number 1, obviously, no matter how many times you multiply 1, the number will still be 1. So I can immediately just say that the ones digit for 1 to the power of 5 is 1. Now, let's look at the pattern for 2. So for 2, I'm actually going to write the pattern over here. The 1's digit for 2 actually repeats every 4 numbers. Which means, once I reach 2 to the power of 5, my 1's digit will go back to being 2. So, what that means is, 2 to the power of 9 will actually have the same 1's digit as 2 to the power of 1 since 9 divided by 4 gives me 2 and remainder 1. So, the 1's digit for 2 to the power of 9 would be 2. So now, what we're going to do is repeat this process for the rest of the numbers. But don't worry, not every single number has such a complicated 1's digit. Let's look at 5 first. For 5, 5 is a pretty special number. The 1's digit for 5 will always be 5, regardless of the power attached to it. So I'm just going to write 5 over here. The same thing applies for 6. The 1's digit for 6 will always be 6, regardless of the power on 6. So I'm simply just going to write a 6 over here. Now, for 4, 4 is a pretty easy number to look at as well. For 4, if... Let me write it here. For 4, if odd power 1's digit is 4. If even power 1's digit is 6. So, 4 to the power of 17. 17 is an odd number, right? Which means my 1's digit for 4 to the power of 17 will be 4. Now, if you look at the numbers we have so far, there seems to be some pattern emerging, right? For 1 to the power of something, our 1's digit is 1. For 2 to the power of something, our 1's digit is 2. So what do you think the 1's digit for 3 to the power of 13 is? I mean, if we were to make a smart guess over here, we would probably say 3, right? Probably say 3. But, just to confirm our theory, let's work out the 1's digit for 3, 2. And, just like 2, 3 actually repeats every 4 numbers. Sorry. 3 will repeat every 4 numbers. And, I'm going to give you guys the 1's digit as well. And if we look at 3 to the power of 13, we'll do 13 divided by 4, we'll get... 3, remainder 1, which is to say the 1's digit for 13 will be the same as the 1's digit for 1. And what is that? That's 3. We just confirmed our theory. So, even if we weren't going to work out 7 and 8, just by a logical deduction, probably the 1's digit here are going to be 7 and 8 as well. Of course, if we wanted to work it out, let me just give you guys the ones digits for the benefit of your doubt. 7 and 8, by the way, both also repeat every 4 numbers. 8, 3, 8, 4, 8, 5. For 7, these are the ones digits that we have. For 8, 
these are the ones digit we have. So for seven, 29 divided by four. What do we get? We get seven remainder one. Is our one digit seven? Yep, it is. And finally for eight, 25 divided by four. We get six remainder one. And is our one digit eight? It is. So very nicely, coincidentally, or maybe not so coincidentally, our one digit is actually basically just one plus two plus three all the way until eight. So to calculate the combined ones digit of all these eight numbers, we're going to be doing this all the way into 8. And that should nicely work out to 36. So what is the ones digit we'd have here now? It's a 6. Therefore, the answer to this question is 6. We have now completed this lesson. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed today's lesson. Goodbye and see you again in another lesson. If you would like to learn more from these tutorials, please smash that like and subscribe button.